Let's start with time and time interval. Time refers to an instant, time interval to an interval, to a period. So what does time mean? Time means when, whereas time interval means how much time or how long did it take. In symbols, we show the difference between time and time interval by using a T or a delta T. Delta means change in. Obviously, both time and time interval are scalars because time only has one direction. It's forward. So there isn't really any direction. There is only magnitude. A scalar is a quantity that has magnitude but no direction. If we had a stopwatch, we would see in the beginning it says 0 0.0000. Then we start the stopwatch. At that moment, we call it time zero because just as we started, it still says 0 0.000 seconds. Then time passes. Then the numbers rise through very, very many different values. At the time when it says 1.000 seconds, we can call that time one second. When it says 2.00 seconds. We can call that moment two seconds. Between the time when we start the stopwatch and when it says one second, a period of one second passes. That's an interval of one second duration. Delta T is one second. From when it says one second to when it says two seconds, that's another interval of one second duration. Let's use the motion of the falling stone to illustrate the difference between time and time interval. So here we have the stone falling. Obviously, the stone doesn't fall to the right. It falls downward. So you've got to imagine that the earth is over here and the stone is falling towards the earth. Let's say that when the stone starts to fall, we start our stopwatch. The stopwatch says zero seconds. That moment, that instant is called zero seconds. After a little way, when it's going slowly still, the time on our stopwatch now says one second. T equals one second. Then it falls some more, this time further, because it's getting faster. And now our stopwatch says two seconds. T equals two seconds. Still further, T equals four seconds. Even further, T equals five seconds. Now what about time interval? We can calculate time interval with the equation delta T equals T final minus T initial. For this interval here, the final time Time is one second, the initial time is zero second. So the time elapsed, the time taken for that interval is one minus zero equals one second. It's a one second interval. The next interval also has a duration of one second. T final is two seconds, T initial one second, two minus one equals one second duration. That interval lasts a period of one second. Pause the movie while you fill the rest of the gaps in. Can you see that each of the intervals as defined here is also one second long? It's not that all intervals have to be one second long. That's just how we've chosen to do it in this particular example. So for the third interval, T final is three seconds t initial 2 seconds 3 minus 2 equals 1. For the fourth interval 4 minus 3 equals 1 second duration. The final interval 5 minus 4 equals 1 second duration. 